welcome back to another episode of Freedom Finance with Lanny, because we're here to make money simple. Appreciate you guys for stopping by the channel today. We're going to dive into a fun tax topic. 2021 final tax saving strategy, as we still have about two months left of the year, as well as 2022 investing tax strategy, because I want you to save as much money as possible and to be able to invest as much money as possible. You may not know this, but your biggest expense probably isn't your Starbucks coffee, those target runs, driving your Tesla, buying peanut butter for all those packed lunches that you're doing. You know who you are, I'm one of them, baby. But your actual biggest expense is more than likely taxes. And I don't know about you, I hate paying taxes. So my biggest goal here is to actually save on your taxes, but at the same time, maximizing all of the investment strategies. I know we're here in November of 2021 and we only have a few months left, but that's still a few months left that you could be doing to maximize your investments while saving taxes. And what I'll do in this video is not just talk about the 2021 tax saving strategies on investing, but we're also going to touch on the 2022 tax planning strategies for your investment accounts. Because if you're watching this, this will also help you as you plan out next year, all of your investments and how to maximize both. I love doing this just one to two times per year and having it set on autopilot because let's just be honest, you have so many more things going on that you don't even need to be probably watching this YouTube video, but you're here and I want you to be able to also put this on autopilot if you can so that you can keep investing and saving money on taxes. So there are three special tax strategies that we're gonna talk about here that's gonna save you a ton of money on your taxes. We are talking about saving at least $600 per month on federal and state taxes. Meanwhile, you're investing your money in order to get that benefit. We'll look on investment calculators to show you how much of a benefit that this strategy is, as well as how much over the long term that you're gonna save from just literally saving on taxes, as well as maximizing more investments. Let's start with the 401k plan. That's gonna be the first tax maximization strategy. In 2021, your maximum is 19,500. So if you're not there yet, calculate how much you still need in order to get to that 19,500 by the end of the year. Now that's typically going to be also state tax deductible in addition to being federal tax deductible. So we're talking pre-tax 401k. And using the example of being in the 22% tax bracket, I mean, you're here to possibly in order to save the most and maximize that 19,500, you could save over $4,200 right there off the bat if you maximize your 401k at 19,500. So those making between you know, 50,000 to 75,000, I know you can do it. It may be a hard adjustment, but I highly recommend it. You will thank yourself years down the line until you start getting you know, this gray haired look, you know, I'm looking like somebody from Goodfellas right now with, uh, with the ashiness I have on my hair. So you'll save at least $4,290 maximizing it in the 22% bracket, $19,500 into your 401k. Now at the state level, we'll use around 3% at the state tax level. You'd more than likely, you're going to save around $585 to $600 in state taxes. So in total, from a tax saving standpoint, by investing your money, you're going to save over $4,800. Easy. Now, for 2022 tax planning strategy for your 401k, you actually could invest $20,500 pre-tax in your 401k in 2020, uh, 2022. So that's, that's phenomenal. $1,000 extra that the government's going to allow you to deduct from your federal taxes. Set that on autopilot each and every pay, calculate what you need to withhold, whether that's a percentage 
or you know a dollar amount and make sure you invest that 20,500 in 2022 into your investments because that's going to save you on a federal tax level $4,500 at the federal level. Then that same 20,500 invested again saving that 3% ish on the state level is going to save you over $600 again. So in 2022, you could more than likely save over $5,100 by investing all $20,500 pre-tax in the 401k that your employer provides. We're not even going to get into the match that they can provide as well as the investment criteria that they may have for you. Um, if they have an S&P 500, obviously I recommend that. Keeps it even. You invest in the overall index so you don't have to guess pick different funds on how their performance is. Just invest into that S&P 500 lowest cost uh, mutual fund in that 401k. Tax maximization strategy number two, we're gonna dive into that traditional pre-tax IRA. Now again, in order to invest into a pre-tax or traditional IRA to get those tax benefits, you have to meet obviously underneath certain income goals related to modified adjusted gross income or MAGI, MAGI, or MAGI. I'm not going to get into the detailed explanation on how to calculate your own modified adjusted gross income, but obviously it pays or it plays towards the favor of maybe not your highest income earning uh, individuals or those that are married. So in 2021 and 2022, the IRS allows you to deduct up to $6,000 in a pre-tax or traditional IRA. So if you're in the allowable income brackets, after you maximize on a pre-tax at 401k, again, if you're allowed, I highly recommend investing $6,000 into your traditional IRA. This is gonna sound like a lot because you just did 19.5 and 20.21 into your 401k or 20,500 next year in your 401k. And now I'm asking you to do another $6,000. But again, that's the beauty of the pre-tax because the tax savings for investing $6,000 into your traditional IRA, it's gonna be pretty straightforward. You take that 6,000 times that by your 22%, if you're in that bracket, you're gonna save over $1,300 in federal taxes. And then add that 3%, again, average state tax bracket, um, you're going to save around $180. So actually in total per year for 2021 and 2022, maxing out your traditional IRA, if you're allowed, can actually save you another $1,500 in taxes. You could say the net there is actually only $4,500 because of that tax benefit. And I didn't even talk about the first strategy. That net tax benefit when you invested that 19.5 in 2021 for the 401k, it's actually only around, again, it's $15,000 because of the tax benefits or slightly below that. So that was the two tax efficient maximization strategies as well as to keep you invested heavily. Again, the first one was maxing out your 401k in 2021 and 2022 at $19,500 and then swinging the big bat in 2022 at 20,500. I know if it were up to me, that's what that's my plan. I'm pretty mad at myself for not always maxing on a traditional basis, pre-tax in the 401k, the maximum amount every year. I started doing that later in my life and I'm pretty mad at myself for not doing it earlier. Now the IRA, you know, again, the phase out limits are a lot lower, but if you still can, again, that second tax efficient maximization strategy is maxing out the traditional pre-tax IRA at $6,000. So now let's get into that third tax efficient strategy. You made it to first base, you hit that, hit that double, you're stealing second maybe, you're, you're there. You wanna hit that triple. You wanna get all the way around the bases here. So that third maximization tax efficient strategy to put more money back in your pocket, but still saving and investing as well as saving on your tax dollars is going to be the best tax vehicle that I think that there is from a tax efficient standpoint, and that is the health savings account or HSA. Now, in order to be a part of an HSA, 
you need to be a part of a high deductible healthcare plan through your employer. Now, I know not everybody has that opportunity, but if you do, let's see if where you work, they also, as part of that plan, sponsor a health savings account because you can always go that route and do it pre-tax from your paycheck, but you can also do it individually if they don't sponsor a health savings account on your own, as long as you still have a high deductible plan. Now, the reason why I want you to do it through your paycheck, because there's that additional tax benefit outside of federal and state that we're gonna get into, and that's with FICA taxes, you know, Social Security and Medicare. You actually are able to invest, it will save and invest that pre-tax, not just on the state and federal level, but you also save that 7.65% FICA. So you're probably wondering, how much can you put in an HSA? And we're gonna consider that the employer doesn't even give a, any contributions or any sort of match to that plan. Now again, typically with your health savings account, some are only just a savings account, but I actually have my plan set with Lively, which if you have your money at Lively, there are no fees. I believe even if you'll, you'll see the link below in the, the description, you can sign up, get a little bit of a bonus, but you can also invest through Lively HSA into TD Ameritrade. So you can actually use your health savings account money and invest it. But again, I was here to talk about how much can you contribute to an HSA? Well, in 2021, you can invest or save or put away $3,600. And then that goes up a whopping 50 bucks in 2022 at 3,650. Now, again, when you take all of the tax benefits in 2021, the federal at 22%, your state at 3%, plus the FICA, you know, your Social Security and Medicare, if you take that 7.65%, add up all those tax benefits, as long as you save and put away $3,600, you can actually save $1,175.40. And 40 cents in taxes. In 2022, it gets slightly better because of that additional $50. You get to save $1,191.72. So take a step back. Let's recap. You got three tax efficient strategies. If for those that are more than likely, it's easier, but I still think you could do it at any income level outside of $25,000. Um, because then you'll probably be eating ramen noodles and showering in a sink in your employer's bathroom or sleeping underneath the desk. No, no, I'm just, just sorry. It's just starting to think about all the memories that I had back when I was younger. Um, but in total, again, if you invested in 2021, 19,500 in the pre-tax 401k, maximizing that $6,000 into the traditional IRA, and $3,600 in the HSA, you would have invested $29,100. Wow, that's a lot. I know it is, it is a lot, but you also would save at the same time over $7,550 in taxes. So your net impact is actually below $22,000. And I don't know about you, but I think you can do it because guess what? This is your journey. This is your personal finance journey. And the more that you do this year after year, the happier that you will be. Why? Because let's break it down. So if you did this for like 10 years, you would have invested, you know, close, close to $300,000. That's a lot of money to be invested, right? You're investing in it through the 401k, the IRA, and the HSA. Now, if that's invested at a conservative rate of return of 7%, this is where you can humor me. That would more than likely end up, as you'll see in the calculation, over $430,000. Meanwhile, though you had to contribute almost $300,000, you would have actually saved over $75,000 in taxes. Huh, so you saved 75,000, you contributed almost 300,000, so net, almost 225,000 and that grew to be at or over $430,000. That's almost 2x the money that you contributed in a 10-year time frame. 
So that was for 2021. Obviously in 2022, it's going to be larger because you'll actually cross over 30,000 invested. But again, even at 30,000 invested, you'd actually save close to $7,800 in taxes in 2022. So the math just gets better beyond that. So again, I'm here to hopefully help you make money simple. I mean, this was three tax efficient ways that you could invest as much as possible, but also reduce that impact of actually seeing that go out into an investment account by the tax savings that you're gonna save during the year as well as you know during tax time. So again, just to quickly recap, you can maximize 19,500 in a 401k in 2021, but that number goes up to 20,500 in 2022. For the IRA, it stays the same, 6,000 in 2021, 6,000 in 2022. For the third item, the HSA or the health savings account, you can do 3,600 in 2021 and 3,650 in 2022. And then overall, if you maximize them for 2021, you'd invest at $29,100 and you would save over $7,500 with your on your taxes. In 2022, you'd have invested $30,150, but you would save over $7,800 in 2022. And if you ask, what should you do with the tax savings? Well, it's easy, invest it. Invest it into more stocks to create more income, whether that's at your taxable brokerage, cryptocurrency, real estate. Um, again, you can check what I do within all my links at the link tree that I have in my description, but again, you can also use that tax savings to invest even more, to create more of a passive income or just create uh, you know, further wealth for yourself. Again, if you enjoyed the video, definitely don't hesitate to give this a thumbs up. Turn that thumb blue if you haven't. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a beat with all of the personal finance and ways that I can help you make money simple. This was Lanny from Freedom Finance. I hope you enjoyed. Catch you on the next episode.